A few days ago, Kaito Tanioka shared a trick on Instagram that I had never seen before. It's a 7 club, 5 up, 720 pirouette, and it's the biggest juggling trick I've seen in 2021. I mean, of course it is, it's still only January. But is it the biggest trick shared by a juggler in the last 18 months? That's a good excuse to make a list. What is a big juggling trick and what makes a big trick so impressive to other jugglers? First, it must be big, so there has to be a high number of objects juggled. We're talking seven or more props for sure. Second, it must be a trick. A trick isn't just a single pattern, like a world record attempt. There has to be two skills combined, either at the same time or transitioning between them. Third, to be impressive, it has to be so difficult that only one juggler or only a very small handful of jugglers have ever been able to do it. The pirouette is a foundational skill in modern technical juggling. The reason it's so impressive to jugglers is that there's no cheating it. You literally take your eye off the ball. It enforces perfect throw accuracy before the spin even begins. The highest number ever juggled with the pirouette and with resuming juggling afterwards is 9 objects. 21 years ago, Anthony Gatto showed off a 9 ring 7-up 360 pirouette, and in 2016, Ofex Sneer shared a video of a 9 ball 7-up 360. Doing a 7-up with 9 objects means holding onto 2 objects while spinning. There's nothing wrong with that, but jugglers would love to see a 9-up pirouette. And in the last year, we've seen two notable examples. Here's a trick by Abram Derage Felicisa. In case you missed it, that's a double bounce 9 ball cascade, a 720 pirouette, and back to a double bounce cascade again. His hands are empty when spinning, but it's not a 9 up pirouette. He doesn't need to throw the balls any higher for the pirouette to work, instead he lets the balls bounce 4 times each rather than twice each. And so while it's very impressive, the juggling world was still waiting for a true 9 up pirouette, one that relies on higher, more accurate throws, and that came in February of 2020. Daniel Lysenko pulled off a 9 ring, 9 up 360 pirouette. That's every ring thrown high, spinning with empty hands and returning to a 9 ring cascade. Which is why Daniel Lysenko makes it onto the list at number 7. In the mid 20th century, stage performers made their juggling look more impressive just by doing more of it, by demonstrating as many different juggling skills as possible all at the same time. For many reasons, combination tricks aren't so popular in the 21st century, but they are still as impressive as ever. The classic Brun finish combination trick had previously been juggled on one leg, in high heels, on ice skates, on a unicycle, on a tall unicycle, and on a tightrope. In December 2019, Luke Burridge became the first juggler to demonstrate the Brun finish on an even more unstable and difficult base for juggling, the Roller Bowler, where you constantly have to balance and you can't move your body to catch stray throws or to correct errors. However, the combination trick by Luke that impressed jugglers the most in 2020 was this. A double spinning ball stack with six ring juggling, again on a Roller Bowler. And it's that trick that comes in at number six on the list. The most impressive prop to other jugglers is the juggling club. Unlike balls and rings, clubs require precise spin control, as there is a correct and incorrect end to catch them. They are also heavier and bulkier, they take up more space in both the hands and in the air. Wes Peden has many impressive club tricks, but his biggest recent club juggling trick, and the one he chose to open his epic November 2019 video, is the double club stack balance drop into a seven club cascade. It begins begins as a combination trick, a 5 club cascade with 2 clubs in a balance, but the clubs don't stay balanced. Others have done a 5 club version of this trick in the past, but Wes dropped the 2 clubs into a perfect 7 club cascade. It's an original version of an already crazy trick, the kind of thing that only Wes Peden would learn, and so it's at number 5 on this list. If the pirouette is one of the foundations of modern technical juggling, so too is the back cross, the behind the back body throw. If you can demonstrate 5 club back crosses, no juggler will be unimpressed, but it is now a standard trick, and 5 clubs aren't enough to make it onto this list anyway. We need to kick it up a few gears to 7 club back crosses. Anthony Gatto, the greatest technical juggler of all time, demonstrated the trick in 2006, with seven back crosses in a row returning to a solid seven club cascade. To other jugglers, it's always more impressive to return to the base pattern following a trick. Unfortunately, Anthony Gatto retired, and since then nobody else has been able to come close with this juggling trick. Every technical juggler is living in his shadow. The best anyone else has managed with 7 clubs since then is this, Vovik Alchenko in 2007, 
seven club back crosses in a row, and he catches them all. David Furman in 2012, seven back crosses in a row, and a clean finish. Jack Denger in 2013, seven back crosses in a row, but no juggling afterwards. Wes Peden in 2015, seven back crosses in a row, and he stops. Kaito Tanioka in 2017, seven back crosses in a row, and we're done. Anderson De Silva in 2019, seven back crosses in a row, and he catches them all. Luca Ferdomengas in 2020, seven back crosses in a row, and no return to the cascade. Spencer Androli in 2020, seven back crosses in a row, and another clean finish. Jack Denger in 2020, seven back crosses in a row, and then one more back cross. So make that eight back crosses in a row with seven clubs to a clean finish. In 15 years, nobody except Jack Denger has been able to break new ground with this trick. So with eight throws of seven club back crosses instead of seven throws, ending with a clean finish, Jack Denger makes it to fourth place on this list. As we've just seen, the gold standard is returning to a solid pattern after pulling off a trick. The platinum standard is to juggle all the props for at least two throws and two catches each after the trick, so with seven objects, that's 14 more throws and catches. With that in mind, let's check out Anthony Gatto again with his seven club pirouette in 2005. A solid pattern, seven up, empty hands, a 360 spin, and then a solid pattern for way more than 14 throws and catches. Vova Galchenko matched this feat a year later in 2006, but then there was a long 14-year gap before anyone else did the trick this cleanly. Others did a 7-club, seven 7-up seven 360, and some returned to a pattern, but not with at least 14 more throws and catches afterwards. That is, until Spencer Androli in November of 2020. He did a 7-club, seven 7-up seven 360, followed by 22 more throws and catches. This, however, brings me back to the Instagram clip that inspired this entire video. Which is the more impressive seven club pirouette trick? Is it A, Kato Tanioka doing a seven club five up 720, that's a double pirouette, a brand new trick I've never seen before, followed by seven frantic throws and catches? Or is it B, Spencer Androli doing a seven club seven up 360, matching Anthony Gatto and Vova Galchenko, the two greatest technical club jugglers of all time, and then returning to a solid pattern? I can't decide which is the more impressive seven club pirouette trick. So Spencer and Kaito are tied at third place on this list. We've already seen the seven club back crosses record in this video with eight catches by Jack Denger. The record for seven ball back crosses was set in 2013 by Tai Tojo at a mind boggling 125 catches and nobody else has ever come close to that since. Tai Tojo does more seven ball back crosses on stage than anyone else can do even in private practice when trying to set a personal record. So what about the seven ring back crosses record? Before 2020, the record stood at seven throws and catches, achieved by jugglers such as Pavel Evsekovic in 2012 and Lado Dittmar in 2014. And then, in October 2020, Delaney Bayliss shared a video where she just doubled the existing record. It blew away any previous attempt at seven ring back crosses. It's not just going from seven to eight, but from seven to 14. And 14 catches is an important milestone with this trick. Twice as many throws and catches as there are objects juggled is a sign to other jugglers that you've really nailed a technical juggling trick. Seven ring back crosses for 14 catches by Delaney Bayliss is at number two on this list. Masahiro Takahashi has posted just two videos to his Instagram account. The first is a 7-club seven 7-up seven 360 pirouette. It's a feat so difficult I've already used the clip as an example of a trick that hardly anyone can do, but other people have actually done that trick before and since. His second video from February of 2020 is something unique to Masahiro. It features a classic trick called Alberts, the front to back between the legs body throw. Most jugglers only learn Alberts with three clubs. A few jugglers, like Anderson De Silva and of course Anthony Gatto, have managed five catches with five club Alberts. Masahiro Takahashi got five club Alberts down solid. But that isn't Mas's second Instagram video, and five clubs aren't enough to make this big trick list anyway. Mas's second Instagram video is seven club Alberts, returning to a seven club cascade. This trick stands above the others in this list easily. It isn't a mere progression over a previous trick or someone trying to equal a juggler of the past. It's a new milestone in technical juggling, and it's the most impressive big juggling trick I've seen in the last 18 months.
What's the most impressive big trick on the list for you? Is the 7 Club 7-Up 360 more impressive than the 7 Club 5-Up 720? Let me know in the comments. To support the creation of more juggling videos like this, please head over to patreon.com forward slash Luke Burridge.